So I'm Laura Keast. I'm the founder here at Choice EMR Learning. We've been in business since 2009, developing these um, offerings for primarily Canadian colleges so that uh, we can help colleges teach these different things to their students um, because it isn't always easy to bring industry software into a classroom environment. But we also are able to offer these to our you know, private students who want to purchase from us and go through um, the software on their own using our uh, curriculum. So the various different things that we have, I'm just going to go through. So we have new to us is the unit clerk EHR training using our own EHR that we've developed and it walks through unit clerk training. I'm going to show you that today. Then we have an Acuro expert micro credential. Um, that one does not use software. It goes through some training materials and then um, you know, if it's something that's a little bit more cost effective, if you're not able to take the full Acuro uh, course. Um, and then we have an EMR EHR bundle. So we have one that has Acuro and within the Acuro is embedded um, other AI tools. So we have AI uh, scribe tools for medical transcription and we have Ocean and that's for, you know, e-referrals, um, messaging to your patients. And then there is a task completion AI module called Wave the Wait. So those are embedded. And then we have another software, which is called Jane. And that is primarily for uh, students that are going to go out to work in a allied health clinic, which is like uh, massage therapy, physiotherapy, uh, naturopathic clinics. And then we have another alternative to the Acuro bundle, um, which does include software, and it's called the Open EMR uh, package. So it does use all of our curriculum. It does have videos and instruction, um, but it doesn't use an industry software. It uses an Open EMR product. So that makes it a little bit more cost effective as well. However, we do really stand behind our Acuro offering um, because of the various different integrations with it. It gives you a lot of bang for your buck on your resume when you're trying to, um, you know, let employers know what you've been exposed to and what you've got hands on training in. So we just believe that really offering this hands on training in addition to theory uh, is going to help you obtain employment. Uh, either in a hospital as a ward clerk or nursing unit clerk, or as a medical office administrator in a physician office or allied health clinic. I'm talking a little bit about what, what is happening with our EHR. So with our EHR, it comes with all of the tasks are embedded within the EHR. So I'll show you how that looks. Um, and then I talked a little bit more about the Acuro Expert. So I'm just going to go into the software itself. Um, I thought I would just start with the Jane. Um, because I'm just going to show you how you get to see how an actual, well, you get to not only see, you get to do. So you'll get login credentials to Jane, and then you'll get to see how the billing works when you submit a third party billing claim. Okay, so this is what our course kind of bundles look like. You go into the learning management system, and then depending on whatever course you're in, you'll see access to the course and then you'll be able to go in and click on it. So if you were to have access to the Jane EMR Accelerator course, you would go in and then it's set up with each step and each step has an assignment component and a video tutorial component to teach you how to do it. And then you would go into the Jane software and you would perform the different tasks. So the one that's, you know, really interesting, I find, so you're going to do all different things like, you know, um, create a patient, send out the intake form. You know, we use yourself as the patient so that you're going to email yourself and get the intake form and, and fill it out, uh, feel what that all looks like. Um, you know, you're going to add various notes to the chart. Um, but the one that's kind of really cool is the submitting an e-claim. So I'm just going to look at, there's an assignment for it. And then this is just a, a quick two minute video uh, explanation as to what you would be doing in the software. Let me know if you can't hear it. Uh, there's, yes, I can't hear it. One moment. It is. Filling a third party insurer in Jane. Go to the appointment that you scheduled and click on it. And we're going to go and add a policy for this patient. Add a new policy and choose the Alberta Health TELUS e claims. The mandatory fields here are the claim number, the policy number, and the relationship to the insurer. 
So the claim number is indicated as 123456. The policy number should be 987654. And the patient relationship to the insured should be self. And we can check that here. And then we'll need to add a billing code. The billing code can be found by searching for the word acupuncture and selecting the 1.zx.10.ha. And then we'll need to arrive our patient in order to be able to bill the insurance company. So we're all set. We can scroll down and submit. And then we'll need to let the insurance company know where the service was rendered. And you can select in person at this location. And then you can check eligibility if your patient is wondering how much coverage they have for a certain type of service, or you can generate the submission. Please generate the submission and wait for your feedback. And this claim has been approved. You can view the explanation of benefits and you can print this as a PDF and submit this to your instructor by whatever means they would like. There was an assignment asking the student to do all of those different things. So the assignment would look like this. And the assignment has very detailed instructions as well, showing you where to go. And it tells you to add the policy and what the policy number should be. Etc. So all the things I was just showing you're gonna get be given that explanation. Okay, so then if we want to look at our Acuro expert course, it's in the same area. And then you're gonna be able to answer uh, a quiz and you're gonna be able to generate your, your expert certificate right from within the software. So that's that ex uh, Acuro expert offering. And then um, if you were to take the full course for Acuro, it's a little bit more robust it has quite a few videos and quite a few um, PDF help documents per chapter. There are 12 chapters. Um, there are various different audio files that you'll need to listen to. There are various different um, PDF versions of test results that you'll need to upload to the patient's file and things along those lines. So you're gonna get all of the work from within the learning management system, and then you're gonna actually go into a Curo and you get access to a curo just as you would if you were a actual physician and you are going to be set up there as a uh, provider and you're going to be given a list of patients that you're going to be working with and you're going to be able to walk through the various workflow for a medical office um, seeing a patient all the way through all the, the various different parts including billing billing for a provincial service so it is pretty robust. Uh, it takes about 30 to 40 hours. Um, you can do it at your own pace. The system automatically signs you out. Okay, so I'm just gonna log all the way back in. So you're gonna log in just as though you were working in the office. You're given a 2FA, you're given um, an account to log into the cloud. So first we have to log into the cloud and then we're gonna be able to log into the Acuro software. So that's where all the work for the Acuro course happens. So while that's happening, I'm going to go into our EHR platform. So the EHR platform is set up all within itself. All of the curriculum is set up in here. So what you're given is um, six or seven different scenarios and a task within each scenario. So the first task, you know, you're going to um, admit Matthew to the hospital, um, and then you're going to, you know, put in the various vitals, then you're going to, um, you know, put... Matthew in a bed, and then he's going to go to preoperative holding. Uh, he's going to have some various tests done. Then he's going to go to surgery. Um, he's going to have uh, environmental services ordered um, because of the surgical unit needing cleaning. Um, then he's going to have to go to preoperative, um, you know, all these various different things. So if you were to look at task 19, for instance, so you're going to be entering in this discharge diagnosis for the patient. And this is the various information that you're going to be given. So what you're going to do is you're going to split your screen and then you're going to go into the EHR dashboard for patient Matthew and you're going to complete the work there. So this is set up very much like the workflow that you would see in a hospital. So it has all the various different buttons uh, that you would need and you're going to be able to do all of the various tasks within here. And then what you're going to be able to do is 
submit your activity, and then you're going to be able to um, go in and check your answers. Okay, and so now if we go back to Acuro, so Acuro is set up again, you would have your own um, provider in the system, and then you would go through and you would schedule, you would register, you would um, upload various different test results to the patient's chart, you would do the billing for the patient, all of the codes are up to date and the real uh, fees that are associated with here in the province, uh, all in real time. Um, you would go into the patient's chart, again, going through the different tasks, and you would enter in all of the various things that we've asked you to do for the patient. Um, we're going to actually simulate tasks and messaging. And like I said, the automated uh, task feature using AI uh, is one of your tasks as well. Yeah. And so you go through here. There's other things you can do in here if you wanted. Um, if it's something that you want to know, there's a, you know, a full um, you know, help guide that goes through everything to do in a curo. You're also given a patient list that you're going to register a list of patients. You're going to make yourself the provider, and then you're going to go through and bill the various different codes that you're asked to bill. And there's some private billing as well. So there's a provincial billing that you're asked to do, and then there's private billing. So these are the private billing. These are the non-OHIP affiliated um, codes that we have in the system that you're going to be able to do and generate invoice for those. So everything that you would need to do if you were working the front desk of a doctor's office, you get to do um, taking this course. And then you will generate a certificate of attendance of completion uh, and be able to utilize that. Then you're going to have it. Uh, access to the answer keys, which are here. So depending on what you want to do, you would take that and then you would be given access to the various different courses. And then these are the answer keys. So it shows you um, the task you've been provided with, and then it shows you what you should have done within the software. So they're meant to operate, you know, very much self-directed. We do meet once a week, um, 6 p.m. Tuesday evenings in Eastern Standard Time to, um, you know, meet anyone who's doing a self-directed course who might have some questions, um, who wants to sit down with a real person and go through it. Otherwise, you can uh, email our support desk anytime. We have support 12 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, who would be there available to help you with any part of your course that you might be stuck on. Um, but the once a week is nice because then you get to meet with anyone who has signed up who might have some questions uh, with their course for that week. Mm -hmm.